Hi there, uh, my name is Eren Nielsen and today we are going to talk about the meaning behind the term Taekwondo. In my last video I shared uh, how to write Taekwondo in Korean using Hangul. So you have probably guessed that the term Taekwondo is indeed a Korean term. Uh, before the 1950s, uh, the Koreans, Koreans usually used uh, imported terms to describe their martial arts. Uh, there were in particular three different uh, terms for martial arts that they used, uh, which was Tang Su Do. And uh, Tang Su Do is uh, China hand with the suffix Do which means way or art. Uh, in, in Japanese it's uh, pronounced tode or tode do uh, and uh, also it can be pronounced karate or karate do if you use uh, the same suffix do. Uh, they also used kung su do and kung means zero or uh, nothing so uh, a loose translation is uh, empty hand and uh, empty hand is perhaps the most famous translation for karate and uh, Gichin Funakoshi was the man who didn't come up with the term but he uh, made it very popular so uh, that's why they changed from tode or china hand to empty hand or uh, karate and uh, both Tode and Karate can be pronounced Karate in Japanese, which made uh, the change of terms very simple. So Kung Su Do and Tang Su Do uh, are two of the terms and uh, they also had a less widespread term which was uh, Kon Bop. And Kon Bop is uh, the way a Korean would pronounce Kwan Fa or Chuan Fa which is a, a generic Chinese term for martial arts. Uh, you can translate it with uh, uh, fist law or the law of the fist, method of the fist, uh, fist system. Uh, and it's a, a loose term for martial arts in uh, China. So uh, the different schools that had ties directly back to China, which uh, would be um, Chang Mu Kwan or uh, to a lesser degree uh, Mu Do Kwan but Mu Do Kwan didn't use that term so uh, any uh, Kwan with a lineage back to Yun Byung In would probably use Kwan Bop while uh, uh, the Kwan that was founded at the earliest time would probably use Tang Su Do and uh, the Kwan that were made later might be uh, more inclined to use the Kung Su Do term. Uh, they all refer back to um, more or less uh, the same martial art with a caveat that they had differences but at their core they, they were at least influenced very heavily by Karate. Uh, some more inclined toward uh, Kitchen Funakoshi's uh, Shotokan, early Shotokan, uh, some more inclined to Shudokan, and uh, in at least one exception, you have also uh, Shito Ryu from uh, Kenwamubuni influenced uh, as well, and then you have some that have uh, uh, more uh, of a Chinese uh, influence. But um, at their core, they, they all used Karate Kata or Hyong. Uh, and they all relied heavily on striking versus grappling. They all included grappling, but uh, at their core they were striking uh, martial arts. Some of the older Kwan used weapons, but uh, by and all, I think it's fair to say that the focus was on unarmed combat, so unarmed striking styles. Uh, Tang Su Do and Kung Su Do and Kwon Bo. So you have two karate terms and, and one Chinese term, all translated into Korean as a Korean would pronounce it. So they are Korean terms by and all, but uh, the, 
they were imported terms. So around 1955, um, I'm saying around because all of this is from memory, uh, Choi Hong Hee came up with the term uh, Taekwondo. And Choi Hong Hee is perhaps best known for being the founder of the Odo Kwan, the military school or My Way school, as it's uh, is one way of uh, translating the name, and uh, also being the founder uh, of ITF Taekwondo or Chang Hon Ryu. Uh, ITF was um, the the first international Taekwondo organization. So many say that. Uh, it's the original Taekwondo, but the first uh, Taekwondo uh, organization was the Korean Taekwondo Association. This does not detract from Choi Hong Hee's legacy as he was vital in the formation of the Korean Taekwondo Association as well. Uh, and he was also the first president of that organization, but it was more or less a joint effort. He spearheaded the movement of organizing all the different uh, independent school into one organization. And uh, among all the uh, organizational um, work that he founded and, and laid the founding uh, foundation for, uh, he also gave us the name Taekwondo. So it doesn't matter what kind of lineage uh, you practice. Uh, Choi Hong Hee is important in all of uh, Taekwondo's lineages. Uh, if not directly for the technical content, uh, at least on his uh, uh, on him laying the foundation of the organization of the Korean martial arts uh, at a difficult time, and also for giving us the name Taekwondo. Uh, many people have different opinions on what Taekwondo means, but as we now know that uh, Choi Hong Hee was the man that came up with the term and it was uh, he came up with it by going through a lot of uh, dictionaries. Uh, Taekwondo, Te especially, it's not a, a common Korean word, so not anyone could have come up with uh, the exact uh, name Te Kwondo. Kwon is often used, though it's uh, the fist, but I'm not going to get ahead of myself. Uh, to get a handle on what Taekwondo means, uh, we should go back to the man who came up with the term. Right? And uh, he was a prolific writer, and to make this video, I consulted his. Uh, uh, 15 volume encyclopedias of uh, Taekwondo, uh, which anyone can get for free uh, on the internet as a PDF. They're not the most up to date edition, but uh, if you just search for the Taekwondo encyclopedia PDF, you should uh, be able to find any number of links to download them. And uh, any serious student of uh, Taekwondo, again, no matter the lineage, should. Uh, at least check them out, at least the first ones in the series. Now in the Taekwondo Encyclopedia, he uh, translates the term Taekwondo more or less directly as in uh, Te being uh, to fly, to jump, to trample on or to smash with the feet. And uh, the Kwon part of uh, Taekwondo the Kwon part is the fists, uh, to, to smash with the fist, to break with the fist. And then you have Do, which is uh, way or art. Uh, and he also makes the link back to uh, the way that was put forth of the sages of old. Uh, so for him, studying traditional uh, Asian philosophy was a part of Taekwondo. Now, if you translate, put all of these together, it's, he doesn't say this, but if you take all of these together, you have uh, uh, the art of kicking and uh, punching or the way of the hand and uh, foot or foot and hand. 
the art of punching and kicking. You can extrapolate any kind of uh, translation among those lines. Another view which I like, but uh, as far as I know, Choi Hong Hee didn't say this. Uh, Taekwondo can also uh, give us uh, a clear picture on how holistic the martial art of Taekwondo is. You have the Te part, and uh, the Te uh, referring to the feet also refers to the lower body. So you train your lower body. And the Kwon part, the, the second part, refers to the fist, but you can also extrapolate the upper body. So you practice the lower body, you practice the upper body, and then you have Do. Uh, and that is Do. Uh, do is the mental part. So you have a physical training of the complete body and also the mind. And uh, I really like viewing Taekwondo as a, a, a kind of a philosophical term uh, describing the whole system of Taekwondo as a training regime and a holistic martial art. Uh, and uh, of course, uh, having directly translated it into smashing with the feet and smashing with the hand, uh, it also gave us a very powerful and very clear hint, if I can tell you that, uh, into our main strategy for dealing with the violence, which is uh, Taekwondo at its core is a striking martial art. It's not uh, a pure grappling art. They, We have other combative methods than only striking, but we at its core we punch and we kick. And the grappling we do is to support our striking system. And we also have to take that into account when we look at the the basic techniques and the pums and the tool or or even the hyung uh, for combating meaning we, we can't get it's very easy to get carried away and find grappling movements for each and every single uh, technique in in the whole form and i've seen many people go down that rabbit hole but uh, sometimes a punch is a punch and a kick is a kick and uh, if you have grappling within the sequence, it's usually to position and open the opponent up or gain control so you can secure your powerful strikes. It's not uh, grappling as you will see in a, a judo match. I've even seen some groundwork, uh, a, a whole pumse uh, being interpreted as ground fighting. Now you can extrapolate the underlying principles and do with them as you wish, but uh, the name Taekwondo pretty much gives it away that uh, at its core it's a striking martial art that does not take away that we have uh, grappling methods within the martial art, but we are a striking martial art. Uh, a third term uh, or way of looking at Taekwondo is uh, proposed by someone who calls himself Master Blue. Uh, I can't remember his uh, real name. Uh, he made, if you Google Taekwondo Bible, you will probably find him. Uh, he gave out uh, a book which you can get on uh, the Apple's iBook at least uh, Taekwondo Bible, the Taekwondo Bible, uh, where he, in a very philosophical sense, says that you. Taekwondo can be taken into meaning uh, a way of stopping violence where the feet, which could mean trample on, uh, and the kwon, the fist representing violence, so uh, the feet stops the violence, the way of stopping violence, the way of trampling the fist, the way of ending violence. Uh, personally, I think it's gone a bit too far from what uh, Choi Yong Hee says and uh, we already have that exact meaning within Mudo and uh, Mudo is uh, if you look at the Hanja or the Chinese uh, character it means to stop the sword or stop the spear or I've also seen it uh, translated as stopping the halberd 
and do is as always way or art so uh, the way of stopping violence or to stop the sword or stop the spear or stop the halberd whatever translation suits you the best and stop the weapon <laughs> uh, it's already there within our uh, philosophy in voodoo and uh, that's why I, I like it like I like Taekwondo representing the complete training system like the lower body upper body and the metal uh, I like uh, how Cho Young Hee translated it uh, which gives us our primary strategy of uh, kicking and punching uh, but uh, I, I find Master Blue's thoughts very interesting uh, but uh, as I said we already have this in Udo so we don't have to extrapolate that into the term Taekwondo I hope you enjoyed this mini lecture and uh, if you did uh, please consider sharing this video with one of your friends uh, any like share or subscribe is uh, highly appreciated Thank you.